Hey, what's up guys? This is the Moto G Stylus. This is only $300 and in 2023 without 5G, is this guy still worth it? We're gonna spend about a day with it and we're gonna find out. Stay tuned and join me for that. So for starters, looking at this box, you see it's called Moto G Stylus on the front. The sides are also branded, and of course the back has some information. It is just really a simple box, if we're being honest. It kind of reminds me of a shoe box, if you will. Opening it up, you've got your phone sitting on top. Underneath that, you've got your tray. This tray is going to contain most of your literature information, along with the SIM ejection tool. Underneath that, you do see you've got a 10 watt power charging brick. This charging brick is only 10 watts because that is the only wattage that this phone can charge at. The charging cable is a USB-A to USB-C. Taking the phone out of the box, you can see that the phone feels sturdy with an aluminum band around the frame and a glossy plastic back. The buttons, of course, feel clicky and sturdy themselves. On the bottom, we have USB-C charging port and, of course, the speaker grill. Now these Motorola's used to come with a stereo speaker system. This one only has the one on the bottom. Of course, you've got that little port for the stylus. Now, what makes the Moto G stylus so unique, it has a stylus built into it. Writing with the stylus feels very easy and fluid. It definitely is not a painful experience. The only concern that I have is with the camera bump on the back of the phone, when writing on a desk, the phone can rock a little bit while you're trying to write, which makes it feel a little off. The stylus also feels sturdy and very easy to grip, despite being so skinny and small. The back of the phone has a camera, which after messing with for about 12 hours, I can say I am not impressed. The wide camera feels warm and sharp. The main feels cold and grainy. The advertised quad pixel technology claims four times the low light sensitivity, but I have not taken any photos in low light that quite feel like it's worth bragging about. We also live in a day and age where you can take a photo like this on an iPhone. Once you power this guy up, you can tell the biggest feature this phone has to offer is this beautiful display. It's not the best in the market, but I was blown away with how good it is and how smooth it feels scrolling through apps and writing with it. It has a 90 hertz display with full HD plus max vision. Underneath the glass, there is a 500 milliamp hour battery claiming two days battery life on a single charge, which is good considering this phone does not have wireless charging or fast charging. Overall, the phone feels good. It feels sturdy and capable of taking a good year or two of use and the price of this device just can't be beat. Honestly, this phone impressed me with the speed and the feel. If you like stylus phones and are on a budget, this phone is a fantastic choice.